Yeah, you know, Angie Mahara here. So I'm going to be having some other content coming soon that won't be just, you know, comment responses or only comment responses. But right now there's like so many to get to and a couple more came in today. So I thought, why not do a response? Because often when people express things or ask questions, lots of other people can relate to what, to what the commenters are saying. So... On the video that I did, BPD breakup, can codependents get the great feelings of BPD idealization back? Um, a commenter says, maybe I'm thick in the head, but am I understanding that the partners who have BPD don't actually love their partners? Well, I actually don't think the person sounds thick in the head at all, because, um, yes, when they said, but am I understanding that the partners who have BPD don't actually love their partners. Oh, the partners who have, yeah, who have BPD. Okay, I was misreading that. Yeah, that's right. They can't actually love you. They don't really attach to you. Um, they, I have a lot more coming on this and what idealization really isn't what people think it is either. But so, yeah, it's true that they don't really love um, anyone else because they don't have a self in which to love anyone self no they can't have self-love without a self and they can't attach to anyone either so yes partners with bpd are not really loving you especially when untreated they're not really significantly treated and the commenter says i have a bp girlfriend i've been trying to break up with i believe i'm codependent it really feels like quicksand being in this relationship any time I try to leave, she gets really self-destructive. So th this would be a case. This is, you know, this commenter is having the experience of being with somebody with BPD who isn't going to ghost or discard them. But like many with BPD, but we don't hear as much about them anymore. They can be really needy and really clingy and can be really difficult for other people when they realize that they really need to let, you know, break up and, and let the relationship go, especially with codependency and all the issues that are being carried from childhood there as well. But people feel really guilty and stuck and trapped with not being able to say to the person with BPD who is more clingy and needy and not going anywhere, I have to leave this relationship or I can't do this anymore, etc. And so it sounds like commenters in that percentage of people. I like with a person with BP who is, like I said, more clingy and more needy and not going to ghost or devalue because not all people with BPD do ghost or devalue. And so, yeah, the commenter is saying it feels like quicksand being in this relationship. Anytime I try to leave, she gets really self-destructive. This is happening for a lot of people out there, by the way. So not everyone, but a lot. And I've worked with a lot of clients over the years. And am working with clients now who they have the more needy, clingy type of person with BPD who's not going anywhere. And so um, remember, you know, if I resonate with you, I'm out here to help you, to work with you. And um, so, yeah, when this person tries to leave, the person with BPD gets really self-destructive. And she tells me she has never loved anyone the way she loves me. Yeah, and you know, it's unfortunate to have to say this to people, but if I had a nickel for every time a client told me that or somebody even wrote it on the channel like this commenter, that's, you know, it's not worth a lot really when they say, but I've never loved anybody like I love you because they don't love you. They don't, they can't love you and they haven't really loved anybody else either. So I think it's like, more than I've never loved anybody as much as you. It's like I've never needed anybody who kind of maybe met my needs a little bit more than anybody, but than you. And um, she tells me she's never loved. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I read that. <clears throat> I, I uh, sorry, I don't even need the good feelings. I just want to get away without destroying her life. Wow. You know, that's severe codependency. And I really feel for the commenter and anybody else who can relate to this. I just want to get away from her 
him or her could be right but in this case i just want to get away from her without destroying her life meanwhile what's happening to your life con or anybody else that can relate because there are these needy clingy people with bpd and they can be very self-destructive very impulsive as can anyone with bpd but they they may be more self-harming they may be more having you know attempts and not being here anymore some may not do that but may threaten that and may mean it or may not mean it really hard to know when a person says like i gotta go or i can't do this anymore and so the really difficult reality to this is and when you're a codependent and you're with a person with BPD like this commenter and you really want to go and you know you need to go, you're like, I don't even care about good feelings. These aren't good feelings. I just got to go. But you don't want to destroy her life. It's It might sound really cold, but what, what people need to do is what people need to do to take care of themselves. So this commenter and anyone who relates to this, you need to break up with the person with BPD and you need to go. And then, yeah, how do you do that without that codependent worry or the guilt, which isn't really healthy guilt, or the what if they really hurt themselves or worse and like I'll feel like it's my fault. But the thing is you don't have control over what they're gonna do or not do. And the reality is you're not responsible for that. And so then the big challenge is how to just say what you have to say or leave the relationship. And then also you need, you know, to get into a healing recovery process. And like I'm out here to work with people that would resonate with me. But it's really difficult because people with codependency are really, really tied into, well, if I do this, what if they do that? You know, self-harming or worse. But there isn't really any, you don't have really that responsibility. And there's no real connection there between if you leave and what they're going to do. Could they react to your leaving and do something impulsive, harmful, or worse? Well, the reality is, yeah, they could. Uh, does it happen as often as people think it might? No. But is there any way to really know... Like, I've had clients who got messages because they didn't go no contact right away. You know, like, if you don't talk to me, if you don't come back, I'm going to, you know, off myself. And and then there's, like, no way to know for sure if they're manipulating, if they're serious or not. And so the bottom line with that is people need to do what they need to do, like this commenter. And you need to leave the relationship. And, and you need to realize you're not responsible for what happens to that person. And that's really difficult. But here's the thing. It will take time. It will take work. You need to be in a healing and recovery process. But the key thing is you need to leave because it's what you need and it's what you want in your life. And secondarily to that, if people have any contact or if, if in a situation you feel like you need to leave, you know, then they can still text you. You need to maybe leave that open in case they're going to do something self-harming or worse. Then sometimes people make that choice. But the key thing there is if they do send you a text message that they just took a lot of, you know, meds or that they're doing this or they're going to do that, then the response has to be that you call the emergency number and, and you have help sent to them, but you can't can't show up and be involved and reward that type of behavior. So it's a real, that's a real dilemma for people with codependency, with the more clingy, needy people with BPD, because you feel stuck and trapped because you're just so sure. And you might have a lot of accuracy in your worry about that this person is going to be very self-destructive or harmful to themselves if you leave but you can't stay because of that and and you're not responsible I want to say again for what they do or they don't do after you leave and that's really hard for people with codependency to wrap their heads around because you feel like 
If anything bad happens, it will be your fault. And that's not true. Because it's not okay for a person with BPD who is more clingy and needy to hold you hostage to perhaps threats already of what they would do if you left. It's like that's them imprisoning you, so to speak. I, it's not okay. So this is one of those uh, many areas in these relationships where the partner wants it over with a clingy, needy borderline. And you just have to do what you have to do. And then, like I said, people with codependency have to realize that your staying there doesn't guarantee that they're not going to self-harm or worse. Your leaving doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to self-harm or worse. But if that were to happen, as it has happened in the past, I'm aware of cases and et cetera, and could happen, then you need to really know that it's not your responsibility. You can't rescue these people. You can't save them. So stopping your life and feeling like you're in quicksand and, you know, you can't get out is not going to change anything about where this person is at. And it's not your responsibility. So I think this is a real heart-wrenching dilemma for people because codependency leaves you with the feelings and beliefs that you have to make sure this person's okay or you won't be okay. And the truth is, you just don't have that kind of power. You know, all you can do, and to this comment or anybody that relates, all you can do is do what you need to do in your life as somebody who is an individual and you're not attached, like you're not, you know, there's difference between you and other, meaning that person with BPD who doesn't know the difference between self and other. But people just have to leave the relationships and really hope for the best. And then hope that maybe the person with BP has some family or somebody else that would be around to help them. But this is hostage taking essentially. And you can't allow that to go on. And when, when and the commenter said they feel like they're in quicksand, they don't know how to get out because this person is so self-destructive or how can I leave her without her hurting yourself or, or worse? Well, you just have to do what you have to do and you can't control what she may or may not do. And I know that that sounds cold, but it's also the reality of starting to look at codependency and move through that in a healing recovery process because you can't sacrifice yourself in your life to being, you know, drowning in this quicksand because you're worried that she might hurt herself or be uh, real self, self injurious with self harm or worse. And the thing is, this is often manipulation, whether they will ever intend to really act on things or not. There's really no way to tell the difference between who will, who might, and who won't. But you just have to walk away. You need to break up with this person because it's what you need. And you matter. And they matter. But they have to take the responsibility for their own actions. And sometimes, it, you know, to be honest, it can be a tragedy. But a lot of times it really isn't. And there's no way for you to know that. And so by hanging in there, because you don't know how to leave without her destroying yourself or harming or something or in, in that area, then like, what's your alternative choice? There really isn't one because by your staying there for those reasons, you are trapped in the quicksand and you are not going to get out. And then what's going to happen to you when this affects you more and more? And, and like you said, the commenter said, I just want out. Then get out. Take responsibility for yourself and get out. Get to working with somebody right away so you can be helped through the process of that how codependents feel overly responsible for other people. And of course, nobody wants to see anybody hurt themselves or worse, but we can't be, uh, can't be rescuing someone that way. You can't keep somebody going or keep them away from self-harm or worse by just being there, abandoning yourself and getting more and more stressed, which is, could affect your mental health, could affect your physical health. 
So it's a real tough dilemma, this, but make no mistake about it to the commenter, anybody who relates, you need to do what you need to do. You need to get out. It's what you want. It's what you need. It's what you deserve. And you have the right to do that. And you can't rescue, fix, or change this other person, and you can't protect them either. And I know that this is one of the worst dilemmas that people who've been with somebody or are still in a relationship with somebody with BPD, the more clingy, needy types that don't really go anywhere and make it really hard for people with codependency who are feeling more worried about the other person than themselves in the sense of like, I need to get out of this relationship, but what if like, and she's got, how can I get out without her doing thing A, B, or C? Well, there's no way to control her doing thing A, B, or C or not. So you just have to get out because it's what you need. So um, I hope that you can hear that. I have really a lot of empathy for you. These are tough situations, but you need to do ultimately what you need to do. And yes, it's horrible if somebody does take really self-destructive, self-harming or worse action and everybody who goes through that, as I have been through that, uh, personally and otherwise, will feel guilty. But the thing is, we're not guilty. And it's not our responsibility. We can't keep anyone else safe. We can't keep them alive. We can't, you know, uh, offer ourselves up as a sacrifice for somebody else who needs to get help and learn how to deal with their own issues. And I think to the comment or anybody that relates to this, I'd like to also just say that many people with BPD who are the more clingy, needy ones who really won't ghost and discard, and you really do have to leave them, well, they try to make that as difficult for you as possible, like whether they're going to take any action or not. And so the bottom line is you just can't be held hostage that way. And you're not responsible for them, and you can't save them, and you can't protect them, What's going to happen to you if you stay in that quicksand? Eventually, you're going to drown. And may I just add that I've worked with a few clients over the years, um, maybe more than a few, who after these breakups, and they might have been ghosted or discarded, it might be a different situation. And it's mostly men that can lose their lives after these relationships and, and just have such stress and an abandonment of self and a breaking down of their own mental health, even with codependency. So you need to take care of yourself to the commenter and anybody that resonates. And you can't stay in that position and then you need to get help to get out of the beliefs and why do you have the belief that you need to be there so she won't get self, self harm and or worse. There's nothing you can do about it, but there's everything you can do about meeting your own needs and being a little bit more individual in the choice here and going forward without letting that take you over as to, oh, well, what if they do this or what if they do that? I mean, I guess I've tried to say it a few different ways here, but the commenter to the commenter and anyone that relates, you need to go. You need to end the relationship and some people will leave texting open. And if they text and they make threats, etc., which nobody can know if they're 100% going to do anything or not, you send the emergency, you stay out of the situation. Very difficult emotionally, but that's why you need to get into a process of healing recovery as you leave the relationship. But you can't stay because you're going to feel bad or like it was your fault if something happens to them. Take care.